Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Peace. We only have a little bit left to do in terms of Korok's cleanup. So, let's go to challenges. I believe we're up to 51 to 60. So, let's go through all of this to see if there are any... Well, there we go. Polishing his technique. Oh, restricted allies to Yonobo. That's going to be interesting. Also, I need to also make sure that I change Zelda's weapon back whenever we use her again. Let's go. Okay, let's see if we can find it on our own. Since we don't have a way to track it, I believe Yonobo will actually get a Korok sensor if we trained him up and gave him the good weapons. You know, the video games. Um, guess I'm really getting into character or something, I don't know. Uh, we need a... We, we, Yonobos are very underused in our playthrough so far, I think. But I think if we did use him enough, we could probably get a Korok sensor for him. Ah, uh, there's nothing up here. That's a shame. It's very off the path and apparently just doesn't have what I need for it. There's a lot of side paths though. So I can hope that I will just run into a Korok at some point. But for now, let me try getting rid of as many of these as possible. What is happening? Whoa. I didn't even know I could do that. Probably did, but I'm just bad at doing combos. I'm usually just mashing buttons. I usually try to be a little bit... Like, try to get combos a little bit, but I usually just don't worry too much about what combos I'm using. Um, there's the Korok. Okay, cool. That was easy. Let's see what's next. Okay, so... 51 to 60. Polishing his technique. Okay, let's go on from there. And see what's left. Since there might not be a lot... I'm willing to bet there's at least... Yeah, there's... Oh no, really? Hair with Trial Expert Plus. Oh my goodness. Perfect dodge timing window. Let's max that out as much as possible. I really wish I had some rock salt right about now. I probably can get some from Legoron Shop. But oh my goodness, really? I, re I remember seeing that ages ago and just dreading it ever since. Now which one is it? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Where is it? Which one is it? I forgot where it was. I've lost it. It's gone forever. It really is just gone. Hang on. Let me figure this out. Did I pick the wrong one? No, it's here. Wait, what? I checked that one, I'm pretty sure. Oh well. Oh, I really need perfect dodge time window maxed out. Let's go. I'm gonna die a lot. Here we go. Time for me to die a horrible death. I do remember seeing, I think, what was the Korok. I think I know where I saw it as well. So I'm going to hope that I'm correct. There's a little box over here that you can see. And of course it is. Nope, that's not it. Uh, it's probably something, a rock that I need to blow up then. Some, somewhere in the wall, probably, maybe? Oh, it's over this way. Okay. 
That makes a little bit of sense. Oh, these are the Octoroks. These are Octoroks. There it is. Oh my goodness. Let's get that and then never speak of this day ever again. Because I still need to go through this entire mission. I guess I will skip ahead for that and then tell you of the pains afterwards. Okay, and just in case you're wondering, no, the Korok, no, the Octorok that was on the edge of the pause stream didn't kill me. I had a bit of trouble at the end of that level again, just before I even got to the Lionel. But once I did get to the Lionel, I was able to take it out without much trouble. So, now, let's have a look at whatever's next. Where are we, where are we up to? I can't remember. Oh, uh, that's the Expert. That's not the Expert Plus. That's Expert Plus. Okay, let's go down from there. Hunting Partners. That's actually an interesting one to have a Korok in. Oh, but it's Restricted Allies. Ah! Ah! Please tell me that Hestu has weapons that I can fuse together for this. I don't think he does. I think... Um... Oh, that's not good. I can't remember... It's probably 30 for this one. Ah! Well, at least I can fuse this together so I get a little bit closer. But it's not close enough. And I don't want to fuse this... His better weapon into that. For it. Ugh. Uh, and Revali's stuff, I don't think, if I fuse these together, I don't think they would even get close. And I don't even know if these weapons have Korok sensor on it. Ah! Let me just fuse this anyway, just for a slight increase. Okay, so let's do this level without, without Korok sensor. There's only one cork to find in it. Here we go! Okay. Obviously I want to look around the start. And down side paths. But I also, there's also the end part where it just gets, where the monster gets further and further away. Oh, and if they, if I let them escape, then it's just going to be a game over instantly. Or a failure. I don't know what you'd want to call it. Probably a failure works. So let's hopefully see if I can find this Korok down this path as soon as possible. So I can head back the other direction and just finish it up super fast. Since this rivalry has got... Probably the strongest weapon in the game at the moment. Although I don't think he's very high level. No, he's level 80. I probably leveled him up. Just whenever I was grinding a few things. Um. Uh-oh. <gasps> there it is! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now I have to actually do the rest of this mission without failing, so... Although I think if I hurry, I might be able to do it. So let's just let Rivali catch up as much as possible. And let's switch over to Hester while I figure things out and skip ahead. Also, in that level, there is... what the, the one... The bit that we ended at the first time we went through it is the only gate near the end. After that, it's just guardian turrets that you have to you can just ignore and go past to get the monster. Anyway, back to figuring out where we're up to. Is it 51 to 60? I think so. No? Hang on. Hang on. Did we... Did we really? Oh, hunting partners. There we are. Oh, and defend Hyrule Castle is one of them. And then that's the only one, so we're up to the next level after this, so... Let's switch in Link, and probably Zelda, as long as I switch back her weapon. Also, the Bow of Light is similar to Link's Master Sword, Is it's as a... As a... what's it called? Is as the only one of its kind, so you're probably gonna have trouble leveling that up as well. 
Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Immediately, we have a croc nearby. So, let's see what we can find. It seems like it's very nearby at the moment. I doubt it's any of these crates. It might not even be up here. Let's head downstairs and figure out what to do. Can't go that way. I don't think that will be even opened up to us at any point. But that's okay. Also, that's the only Korok seed that we need to find, so once we find it, that'll be great. Ow, bad timing. That's just stasis you. Okay, that was a lot of good attacks. Ah, oh, that was a bad dodge. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Please get him. There we go. Probably not enough, though, to finish him off. That's a pretty good start. And if I actually fight some of these regular enemies, I guess. Just gonna block that. Can I please have a chance at beating you up? Faster than this? Oh no. Oh my goodness, really? Thesis. Also, have my special that I was wanting before now. Ow. Stasis. Defend the outpost. Oh my goodness. I'm busy. Trying to figure out where this Korok is going to be. Let's just use our special to finish him off. Because I just don't want him to stay, stay around any longer. Oh my goodness, he's still going. This is what happens when you fight with the stick. Rather than the Master Sword. There we go. Let's figure out where this Korok is. It doesn't seem to be down here at all. So let's head upstairs. It might be out one of the sides. Slightly. Oh, there's also this path here, which I'm guessing, hang on, maybe not, maybe not, let me see, where could it be, there's a lot of extra sides around the place, so it's probably, uh, right here, cool, well there we go. Okay, that one's done now. Oh my goodness, that took a lot longer than I would want. Now, is this the... No, this is... Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're up to 61, I think. Let me just double check to make sure I'm not skipping too much. I'm pretty sure it's just... Oh, that level took a while. That's why I'm a little bit uncertain of everything now. But yeah, we're up to very recent stuff now. And it could be possible that even future levels we haven't even done yet, future challenges, might even have some. It doesn't look like that any of those did. That's interesting. Well, okay then, I'm okay with this. Oh, these are uncompleted. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, that's okay, I can still look through them. Oh, and that's the end. Cool. So it looks like we have all the Koroks that we haven't done yet. Now, finally. After all these years. I'm pretty sure none of the Divine Beast ones can have any, so... But oh my goodness, it's been forever. Now I can have a look at some of the... The... The side quests that have been available for a little while. Pursuing Supreme Power! Calamity Ganon craves Supreme Unstoppable Power! It falls upon you to feed this hunger or leave the appetite unanswered. Goodbye, Diamonds.
after it absorbed malice from a diamond and some of the mightiest monsters in Hyrule, Calamity Ganon's destructive potential became even stronger. Special gauge plus one. So now we're up to three special gauges on Calamity Ganon. Oh, I really wish I had more of those, um... Iceless Alpha's Tales, considering all of the things I just did. Now, am I wrong? Or does this complete this region? Slumbering Malice. Calamity Ganon craves the power of a slumbering giant. It falls upon you to feed this hunger or leave the appetite unanswered. Henox parts. By absorbing Malice from Henox, Calamity Ganon uh, gained an unnatural new power. Extra X combo for Calamity Ganon. And Hebra has been completed. Giving us some sapphires, wow! That's a lot of rupees, considering I had sold a few. Also, if you're gonna sell, um, if you're gonna sell, uh, gems, you should probably go to this stable, or an, another different one, with the star on the icon, because that means that it sells for more, and then I think it actually sells for, like, more than double. So if you're gonna sell, this is the place. If you need rupees, which you probably will. Like I have. Anyway, let's finish up with the hope of Hebra. Help those with problems in the Hebra region to make the world a happier place. You helped everyone with problems in Hebra and received some things useful for combat. You have you have raised everyone's spirits and made the world a, ha a somewhat what made the world somewhat brighter. And we get snow boots. Would have been useful if we were playing Breath of the Wild, but we're not playing Breath of the Wild. Now, I think there's only one more um, side quest available to us, which doesn't even come close to the end of the central Hyrule. Beastly Malice. Clam to Ganon craves the power of a four-legged beast. It falls upon you to feed this hunger or leave the appetite unanswered. Goodbye, Lionel Parts. We got quite a few from... Uh, uh, the Korok cleanup, though. By absorbing malice from a Lionel, Calamity Ganon gained an unnatural new power. Extra Y combo for Calamity Ganon, which also can go into the X combo in a different way. So there we go. Apparently, uh, Terrico wants me to do some forging, but I don't need that right now. Instead, I think I might... Oh, I feel like I should try grinding some more um, of the the Zalfos Tales. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll be back in a second. Okay, now that that grinding's done, let's have a look at these two side quests over here. Gerudo Canyon Festival. The Koroks are feeling the heart, heat of the Gerudo area. Hes2 says if they can't beat the heat, they should join it with a fire... <laughs> A fiery samba dance. Just in case, uh, get them some heat resistant supplies. <laughs> the Koroks did the samba and danced the heat away. Your heart resist the heat resistant supplies surely helped too. So has to showed you his happy dance. Shaki Shaka. Three extra weapon slots. Very nice. Oh, and look at that. The last side quest of Central Hyrule. Fantastic Flamenco. Hestu is bringing all of the Koroks of the forest together for a flamen flamenco performance. Get them all, uh, all they need to put on the perfect show. A total song and dance extravaganza. The last Korok seeds. There we go. The Koroks of the forest danced a flamenco in fabulous partnership with each other. Oh, what harmony. So Hestu showed you his happy dance, Shaki Shaka. Weapon capacity plus four. Increased apple capacity by one. The number of apples you can carry has increased. That's good. And Central Hyrule has been completed, giving us 50 diamonds, 50 sapphires, 50 rubies, and 50 Lumina Stones. Oh my goodness. I know you can buy, like, all of those from there. 
But that is a lot for anywhere. Also, that means that we can claim our rewards from over here. Also, this one is not only 98% because you have to do this one, claim this one first. It's not that you missed anything, it's just that it's, you need to, you can get both now. The hope of Central Hyrule. Help those with problems in Central Hyrule to make the world a happier place. You helped everyone with problems in Central Hyrule and received some things useful for combat. You have raised everyone's spirits and made the world somewhat brighter. Get some opal earrings. And was I wrong? I might have been wrong. It might be that you need to... Oh, you have to do every corner of the world. Okay, that's going to be easy enough. Hidden life force. Calamity Ganon craves the power of uh, camouflage. It falls upon you to feed this hunger or leave the appetite unanswered. After it absorbed malice from some Lizalfos, Calamity Ganon's Malan life force became even stronger. Calamity Ganon gets two extra hearts. And Farron has been completed. Get 50 Topaz from that. Again, really good. Oh, also there was... I have a problem with the last area. Which is a shame, because this is probably going to be at 99% now. Yeah. That's a shame. Anyway. The Hope of Farron. Help those with problems in the Farron region to make the world a happier place. A commendable achievement. You helped everyone with problems in, the, in Farron and received some uh, things useful for combat. You have raised everyone's spirits and made the world somewhat brighter. You get rubber tights as well as some hearty durians. Okay. So, to complete the last, last, last star, we need to complete the Gerudo region. Which means we need to get this by getting the last side quest over here. But to do that, we need two more ethereal stones. Which means we have to do two more side quests, ch challenges, you know, those ones. The different ones. There are only three available to us at the moment, which could be the last three. And... Who knows how they're gonna go. Need level 80 recommended for that one. 78 for that one. And 60, 76 for that one. We're probably gonna do them in, in level order. Just so we can take them out as well as possible. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.